Okay, while we wait for this ancient computer to start up, um, we'll uh, 
recap last lesson on meiosis, okay? So in meiosis, in which... Just waiting for everybody to concentrate on me. You ready? Yes. Okay. In which of the uh, meiosis 1 or 2 does crossing over happen? Yes, so in which stage? Pro phase 1. Where does uh, cystic chromatids uh, separate in meiosis? Minus 2. Which phase? Phase 2. Phase 2. Correct. Uh, when does the uh, independent assortment happen? Um, what is that? Assortment of the uh, assort assortment of the chromosomes. Remember re reshuffling. Yeah, no, no, no. So in metaphase uh, one, the, cro the homologous chromosomes line up, so they can line up this way or that way. Remember? Independent of the other pair, so each pair can line up independently. This way or this way, okay? So uh, remember we did the calculation, it was like more than eight million different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two for yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, have you done the lab yet? No. Not yet. No. Not yet, okay. That's good because we'll cover most of the stuff here today, we'll finish it and you'll be good for the lab. Um, <coughs> before we continue, there's a video I wanted to watch but this computer is playing up. The computer is not on. Starting up quick, <laughs> but I think we can do the activity without the video. The video is on the blackboard already. Okay, it's the mitosis versus meiosis video. It's on the blackboard, but we've covered most of the content, so we can do the activity without the video. So today uh, we're actually going to look into gametogenesis. Where does gametogenesis happen? Huh? Gametogenesis. Remember, we talked about this before. The formation of the gametes. Where does it happen? Where are the gametes made? Gametogenesis. Yes. Where else? Gonads. Gonads, which is collective for the testes and the. Ovary. Okay. Ovary, remember? This is where gametogenesis is happening. <coughs> now, we find something interesting here that in male, gametogenesis produces four sperm, while in the female, one. we only get one ova, okay? Yeah. We still get the rest <coughs> of the cells to, to one to three. One to three um, polar bodies, what we call them. but. Because of unequal cytokinesis, most of the cytoplasm ends up in the ova, and those polar bodies, we call them, they're just like uh, to get rid of the excess chromosomes during uh, meiosis. So I'll talk about that today as well. Before we start, I just want to get the students who are here. Um, Ahmad Dehal, Dehial, is he here today? So he's upset. Uh, Ahmad Abdullah Al Adi, Ahmad Muhammad Al Ali, Anas Malik, Ahmad Muhammad Al Sayyid. Where is he? He left. He's not here. Okay. Elias, Turkey Majid, Haider Sadek, Brian, Mashi, 
زايد على دين عبد الرحمن غازي عبد الله عادل عبد الله فرحان عبد الله محمد علي خلافة Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. Ali Khalifa. Ali Khalifa. Ali Khalifa. Sorry, I'm reading it from the English guy. <laughs> Ali Fauzi. Ali Muhammad. Yes. Muhammad Ahmad. Muhammad Hussain. Yes. Muhammad Abdullah. Yes. Muhammad Amar. Is it Amar? Amman. Muhammad Munir. Muhammad Yusuf, Michal Ahmad, Hadi, Hashem Muhammad, Yusuf Muhammad, Absalah. So we have one, two, three. No, 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 I mean, I forgot to say this house. Oh, okay, I thought you said someone who was in the cafeteria's house. Yeah. It's three houses to one. Two are out of the, yeah, isn't it? Okay. Um, let's get out of this. So, uh, as I said, this thing works. We'll talk today about gametogenesis, the formation of gametes, which happens in the gonad. Before we move on to that, there's a small activity here. It's fairly easy, we'll just get on to that. In, in the end, we'll, I, see if I, I don't think I have um, uh, Kahoot for this, but I have it for chapter four, we'll do that one instead. How good your memory is. How many divisions in mitosis? Uh, one. One division? Yeah. How many in meiosis? Two. 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 Number of daughter cells formed? Two. Two? Yeah. Four. Four? Everybody agrees? Yes. Yeah. Two deployed. Two deployed, okay. One second. I want to choose somebody to come and uh, give me the answer. What about in the back? <coughs> in meiosis, do you get what sort of cell? Diploid or haploid? Haploid? <coughs> now obviously, what do you get in there? <coughs> what sort of cells? Uh, I don't see it. Mitosis, what sort of cells? Uh, diploid. Uh, deployed? Yeah. What about here on the iPad? It's lapping. What is the mitosis needed for? Mitosis. Here. I'm talking to you here. Mitosis. What's mitosis needed for? <coughs> There's several things we mentioned. Yes? For, for general subdivision? What do you mean by that? Not, not like other than uh, sexual, uh, the, the cells for... Uh, yeah. Okay, I might have for uh, general cells, body cells. Like uh, tissue, tissue, skin. So, uh, cell repair, like uh, regeneration. Uh, what else was it? Growth. Growth. 
in some organisms, asexual reproduction, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. There was another one. Um, Inherent growth. I forgot what it was. Okay, so what about meiosis? What does it need is for? Producing uh, sexual reproduction. Uh, so, so making gametes, okay? Cell replacement. Yeah, so cell replacement, like if you need to replace cells. For example, red blood cell. Okay, so in the formation of ga gametes in sperm and the egg. Okay, <coughs> is the daughter cells identical here? Are the daughter cells identical in mitosis? Come on, you know this answer. Wait a second, let him answer. Are the daughter cells in mitosis identical, the same? Are they different? You don't know? Tell him. Why are they identical? Because they uh, take the same DNA. Same DNA. Remember in S phase we there had no crossover. There's, there's no crossing over, no. Uh, so the genetic material is maintained, okay? Because we get uh, replication in the S phase, making an exact <coughs> Copy, so remember it's duplicated chromosomes that separate. This is for mitosis or It's for mitosis. I just didn't have enough room to write it. Okay, so it's identical, yes. What about in the meiosis? No. No? Remember crossing over and dependent assortment, all sorts of things causes lots of changes, okay? All right, so everybody, you understand? Doctor? Yes. Uh, can we say that mitosis needed for uh, mixing the human genes? No, it's actually, the, the main purpose is for uh, uh, sexual reproduction, okay? Producing the sperm. sperm. That's a secondary thing, you know. Yeah. Without meiosis, you're not going to get uh, the cells needed for reproduction. Okay. So, as I mentioned before, in meiosis or gametogenesis, you get uh, four viable sperm while you only get one viable egg. So in the male, all the uh, gametes that are formed from the round of division and meiosis produce viable mature sperm. And they're all 23 chromosomes. What does that mean? They are uh, haploid. Haploid, okay? So N. And uh, yes, the sperm have one sexual organ cell and twenty-two. Uh, no, no, no. Each one has twenty-three yeah, and chromosomes. And each one have one <coughs> sexual and twenty-two. Of course, yeah. it's haploid. All haploid cells in in humans, you know, whether it's male or female, it will have twenty-three chromosomes with twenty-two autosomes and one sex chromosome. So in this case, in the female, it's always 22 autosomes with one X. Here, it could be 22 autosomes with one X or one Y. So there's a 50-50 chance, okay? So the sperm that are produced, 50% will have X, 50% will have Y from that one uh, uh, primary uh, or the spermatogonium that we call it. Yes? Uh, there is a different... Uh between uh, X uh, sperm and Y sperm? Yes. The egg, X sperm fertilizes the egg. The yeah. child is yeah. female, the daughter. Yeah, if it's a Y, Y it'll be male. male. I know that, but uh, in sperm itself. Yes, there is X and Y. There's a difference. 
50% of them will be X, 50% will be Y. Is that what you're asking? I, uh, no, no I, I'm, I'm asking uh, about uh, abilities and uh, appearance. Ah, is there no, any difference? The yeah. difference is in the genetics. Just in the, yeah. the okay. Yeah. So it, it, it's either carrying an X chromosome or a Y, but they are generally they're the same. You can't tell the difference unless you do a genetic test, like some of the DNA and look for the uh, Because chromosome. I heard before, uh, uh, the sperm uh, would have a Y uh, chromosome, it's speed, it's more uh, fast. Where did you hear that? Uh, Where did you hear that? In uh, high school. I don't know about that. Teacher told that. Maybe he's talking about something else. <laughs> as soon as one sperm fertilizes the egg, you know, there's not four sperm there, it's going to be 300 million. Okay, one just one. one as soon as, so the process is, is a, there's a special uh, proteins covering the egg. As soon as it detects that one of the sperm has injected its DNA into it, okay? It'll, there's a reaction happens, it, it hardens the uh, membrane, the cell walls close, close, no more sperm can penetrate it to prevent excess DNA. If you do that, you know, what, you're going to end up with more chromosomes. And the rest of sperm, they die. Only one sperm will get to the egg. And many of the sperm die on the way anyways, getting there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So from that 300 million, only a few get there, then from that only one of those, yeah. This one, like... Yeah, there's egg. one egg. Twins. Usually there's one egg, but sometimes two eggs can be released. Because that there are uh, twins. Yeah, you, you get, get twins, two, triplets, you know, quadruples, okay. and many. You tell us when the eggs is uh, fertilized, yes. it's closed. Yeah. If just one egg is fertilized and closed, yeah. how it can be twins or two? Yeah, the no. egg, what sort of twins are you talking about? Identical? Twins identical? <coughs> non identical? The same, uh, I forget the amount. No, don't worry about myosis. Are you talking about identical twins or non-identical? It's the same. No, no, no. It's the same. Then identical or two show you eggs? Eggs. I'll show you what's happening. So, in non-identical twins, you get two eggs. So one sperm <coughs> fertilizes that, another one. That's why they are non-identical. Because different sperm, different egg. That's why they don't look the same. Okay. Okay. If it's not identical, what do you mean the same place? Like here, you know, like here, you know, they're putting two eggs, or just one egg. Separate eggs. Okay. Okay. That's a Separate that's eggs, two independent eggs. This is non-identical. Okay. In identical, usually what happens as soon as this egg is fertilized, it undergoes cell division. So it starts to divide, you know, into two, then four, then eight. Sometimes what happens is some of those cells, so in, at a certain division, split off like that. So now you have two different, uh, two or oh, I don't know, they, they call it blastomas, I think. It's after different. That. Yeah. So in that, they're two independent, and two independent eggs. Eggs that are, or um, well, they're no longer eggs. I think they call it blast, uh, blastoma or something. I forgot the name of it exactly. So uh, they develop independently, but because they came from the same egg, it'll have the same chromosomes exact same copy so you get identical and twins the division it's like the other cells yeah mitosis it have five faces this is my after 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 fertilization it's mitosis that makes the growth okay but as you uh, uh, talk about the eggs yeah. it's uh, separate if they are have a subdivision like any yes, cells yes. full phase and metaphase and these things yeah i'm going to talk a bit that today okay don't worry. So uh, let's have a look at what's happening. Uh, okay, Doctor, if there are divisions in the wrong way, just with half egg, what will happen? What do you mean half egg? If there are two separate eggs, there are two will be uh, identical twins. Yeah. If there no, are it's separate the same eggs, egg yes. will get identical. Egg. Two different eggs. No, no, the same egg, it's uh, yeah. separate but in the wrong way. What do you mean wrong way? Maybe it's just half a uh, separate. 
there will be swims or swims with uh, what are you talking about? before fertilization or after uh, be before fertilization the egg is not, not viable anymore yeah you have to have it and the separate is after the fertilized yes this happens after fertilization but okay after the fertilized it's separate in the wrong way what do you mean wrong way there are uh, the, the beginning is not always it will yeah. be uh, in uh, yeah. Usually, if there's major defects, it will be terminated. You get a termination of the pregnancy. I, I asked about that maybe because that there are yeah. uh, children born in uh, disease. And yeah, you get that. Maybe because this? You, you, you get this because there's problems with development, okay? Some, there's some genetic disorders that can give rise to that, but we're not going to talk about this now. I mean, you will learn later on when you talk about developmental biology, okay? There is problems can happen, but there are no problem in the division itself. And if it's a major problem, if the cell, if that fetus or that embryo cannot develop fully functionally, it's usually terminated. The body will terminate it. There's a lot of, a uh, lot of women, they don't realize that they have uh, miscarriages early on. Miscarriage. Yeah. When the miscarriage, miscarriage means when the, the carry the, uh, the baby does not uh, oh, miscarry, yeah. uh, misca when you miscarry the baby miscarry. they have it happens at early stages like uh, you know few weeks of uh, fertilization you don't realize it a lot of the, uh, that happens because of some problem okay the, the body will terminate we're not talking about the mechanisms of that okay because it's, it's not a part of our uh, terminate, not to treat. So, sometimes, if it's very uh, damaged, lots of problems, it'll terminate. But it, sometimes it can continue, and you see some diseases like Down syndrome, you know, with, with the chromosome. Mm. Uh, but that happens early in meiosis. Okay, so uh, formation of sperm in males is actually the process known as sper spermatogenesis. Genesis is obviously referring to creation, okay? Creation of the sperm, okay? So we start off with this cell called um, uh, spermatogonium, sorry. So this spermatogonium is actually diploid, okay? So it undergoes uh, mitosis and growth to form the primary spermatocyte. This is what undergoes meiosis, okay? So the spermatogonium doesn't go uh, uh, meiosis, you get mitosis and growth, and then after that, meiosis. you enter meiosis, okay? So these two cells, the spermatogonium and the primary spermatocyte are two N, okay? They're <coughs> diploid, okay? So remember that, they're diploid. So you get um, first round of meiosis. Remember, in first round of meiosis, you get crossing over and dependent assortment, homologous pairs separate, okay? So meiosis one, homologous pairs separate, you get two new cells. These cells are now N. So they have 23 duplicated chromosomes, okay? We call it 23 duplicated, we don't say. Okay. Yes? The only one with mitosis is the first one, right? And the primary? Yeah, this, this, the, the pri spermatogonium, you get mitosis growth, and here is where you, the primary spermatocyte is the one that undergoes meiosis, okay? So after meiosis one, you get haploid cells, okay? Mm -hmm. And all these cells, until you get the mature sperm are uh, haploid, okay? So they're all uh, N, but in different number or uh, status of the chromosome. The N is 23 uh, chromosome? Yes. So here it's duplicated, okay? Then these uh, two, what we call secondary spermatocytes. So the secondary spermatocytes are haploid, okay? But they have duplicated chromosomes, so they undergo meiosis too and form four cells, okay? So meiosis two now, the sister chromatids separate, okay? So you get separation of the sister chromatids and you end up with N, so it's already N, and this here and now it's unduplicated, okay? 
So spermatids, okay, are haploid and they have n uh, number of chromosomes unduplicated form, okay? So these are not mature yet, okay? In the testes, they mature, okay? And form sperm cell haploid. So the sperm cell has this head, you know, you will see this under the microscope in this tile, the flagella, remember? Yeah. Flagella made up of uh, microtubules. Nine plus what? Nine plus two. Nine plus two, okay? So this is like a motor proteins that help it to swim, okay? So the mature sperm will look like that, and they're uh, haploid as well. All four sperm cells are functional, okay? They can all fertilize an egg. Why it's only sperm? Because you got two rounds of meiosis. Yes. Yeah, you need to know uh, yeah, where the different cells, yes. That's why I'm telling you now. Okay, so uh, in, my, uh, in spermatogenesis, <coughs> we get from a primary spermatocyte, okay, we get four mature sperm which are all viable and functional, okay? So remember the status, the chromosome status, okay? We got diploid, we got haploid, so in a secondary spermatocyte, it is haploid with duplicated chromosomes, okay? Now, <clears throat> in the female, the process of the formation of the gametes, oogenesis, some people pronounce it like that, I don't know, I pronounce it oogenesis, oogenesis, whatever you want to call it, but it's actually talking about the formation of the ova, the egg, okay? So, uh, where does this happen? Where does it happen? The ovary, okay? Now, in the female, it's different. The male can produce sperm for the rest, uh, and from puberty until the end of the life, okay? Technically. So a male can produce unlimited sperm. But the female comes already supplied and it developed during the formation inside the mother's womb uh, with about approximately 400,000 eggs, okay, or ova. That's why in females, when they reach the age of between 40 to 50, they enter a stage where it's called um, menopause. They no longer have the monthly cycle and they run out of the eggs. So after that, then they cannot have children. But there are some exceptions. Well, I mean, I, most of the women, they will go into that sort of age. When they run out of the eggs, they're gonna go into menopause. Depends on if it's early 40s, late 50s, maybe after 50, I don't know. Okay? So, yes. And there is some exception where there's, I don't know, some 60, 70 year old woman, but that's through in vitro fertilization. They had children, you know. There is an exception. But that's with new technology, you know. You know what in vitro fertilization is? <coughs> in vitro fertilization? Uh, yeah, right. yeah, the egg, uh, they take the egg, egg out of the woman and the, and the sperm. sperm, and if this woman cannot have children, uh, so they, they, they put it into another woman, involved. she will have the child for her. Yeah, that's terrible. Or she can, uh, or they can, you know, in, in the US and Australia and Europe, yeah, some countries, they, they do this right. for children, they don't have, people don't can't have children. So maybe it's the problem of the woman or the man. If the woman can't produce uh, proper eggs or something, they get another egg from another woman and then they use the sperm of the man or they use sperm from another man and you know, it's like yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're not viable at all. And it's used to waste the... Take out the waste. Yeah. Okay, take out the bin. All right, so in... Uh, Similar to a sper a spermatogenesis, we started with a spermatogonium. So there's a, a cell that we call ogonium, which is a 2N, okay? So you get mitosis and growth, and you form this cell called a primary oocyte, okay? So here it's 2N, okay, in duplicated form, the chromosomes. 
So it's 46 duplicated chromosomes, all right? So this uh, primary oocyte undergoes uh, meiosis one, <coughs> and you get unequal cytokinesis, okay? Unequal cytokinesis ensures that most of the cytoplasm ends up in the uh, viable egg, well, only the chromosomes that are uh, the 23 um, homologous chromosomes are taken out by the first polar body, okay? So we call this the first polar body. So this is haploid because it's taking out the chromosomes, okay? So remember in meiosis one, we get separation <coughs> of sister chromatids or homo homologs? Homologs. Homologs, okay? Yeah, homologs. homologs separate, you see that? So we, now we end up with a uh, first polar body and the via then this will form the viable egg. We call that the secondary oocyte. It's haploid. It's N, okay? But the chromosomes are still duplicated, okay? So, so it's different. Uh, it's unduplicated or 46 duplicated? 46 duplicated. At the end it should be 46 or 23. And whatever they all go in there. This is duplicated, this is unduplicated. Oh, the yeah. 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 So it will undergo uh, mitosis and growth and it forms these primary oocytes, okay? Mm. So the ogonium form the primary oocytes. And then these are the ones that produce the egg, okay? Mm. So you get uh, 46 duplicated chromosomes, you get meiosis one separating homologs, you get N number, so 23, Duplicated, okay, in the pro uh, secondary oocyte. So from here on N, it's haploid, okay? This way, diploid. But here, it's diploid with duplicated chromosome. So then, you get this secondary uh, <coughs> oocyte that undergoes meiosis 2, okay? And it forms the ovum, which is haploid. So now it's 23 and unduplicated. Okay, now, so remember in meiosis two, we get separation of the sister chromatids. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to, uh, somewhere those 23 uh, chromatids need to end up. So we, we have a second polar body polar formed, okay? In meiosis two, second polar body, okay? And it is twins that come to an, an album. So, what is it? When, it? when they are twins. No, no, nothing to do with the twins yet, okay? It's not a viable from the beginning. These are, are non-viable, okay? This process is to produce the viable egg, okay? So this is just, this is the trash. It's taking out the excess chromosomes, okay? Okay. Excess. Excess chromosomes, they need to, you need to separate them, okay? They're duplicated, we need to remove 23. So. This polar body acts as a trash, removes the chromosomes, okay? Yeah, one X and the other X. So, uh, they're both X, obviously. All of these are X, have the X. It's nothing to do with that yet, okay? So, now, uh, the secondary oocyte, as I said, undergoes meiosis two. Most of the cytoplasm ends up in the ovum because of unequal cytokinesis, and only the excess chromosomes end up in the second polar body. Sometimes the first polar body can undergo meiosis two and form two more polar bodies, okay? And you end up with three polar, up to three polar bodies and one well, viable ovum, okay? So, so, so three, the first polar body is from, for, uh, from meiosis, meiosis one. Okay. The second polar body is from meiosis two. Meiosis two. And the third polar body? You can get up to three. Two from the meiosis <laughs> yeah. you Sometimes, really, rarely, okay? But okay. it does go uh, meiosis two and forms two polar bodies because it's it's not going to be viable. It doesn't have much cytoplasm or anything. Mm -hmm. So you end up at the end up of end of oogenesis because of unequal cytokinesis. You end up with one ovum. viable ovum and three up to three polar bodies. Polar bodies, okay. And okay. the polar bodies are only there to remove the excess chromosomes, okay? Because Remember, after each division of meiosis, the chromosomes need to separate. And first meiosis, homologous, homologous chromosomes separate, and second, the duplicated chromosomes. So there's got to be some way for those chromosomes to go. Where do they go? They go to the polar bodies, okay? 
and okay. the mature egg, the, the viable egg, then is 23 and unduplicated. And this is the one that is fertilized. These ones, they're not viable. So the female comes with 400,000 of these, okay? Uh, doctor, yes. My two, why there are two polar body? Because the, there are more excess chromosomes, or what? This polar body comes from <coughs> the front and second. This one can undergo meiosis two sometimes, but rarely. Okay, and you end up with what? One, two, three. You got that? Yeah, I know that. And that's correct. Why meiosis two? There are sometimes two polar bodies. There are only one in two from the uh, secondary oocyte. Okay. See? Yeah. It's I'm again. saying that that other first polar body can undergo, but not all the time. Rarely can okay. form two polar bodies, because it can form. Uh, it will split the from the primary uh, oocyte. No. Okay. So the primary oocyte, you get the uh, secondary oocyte okay. and one polar body. These two, this one will go meiosis two. Sometimes this can go meiosis two and make two polar bodies. So you end up with three. Okay? okay. So um, the reason we get this unequal cytokinesis is that because in the initial stages the egg needs a lot of energy, lots of uh, organelles when it's fertilized, so it carries most of the cytoplasm with all those organelles with the cellular components. So it gives a chance for the cell to grow, okay? And develop and survive, okay? So that's why most of the cytoplasm ends up in the ovum and very little ends up in the polar bodies. It, this allows for the egg to survive because during that fertilization, it still needs to reach uh, the, um, the, uh, what is it called, the, the womb, okay, and attach to it. During that time, where is it getting its energy from? So the egg, because of this, because of this reason, it has lots of energy, organelles, it can survive, develop and grow while it attaches to the mother's womb or the uterus and forms its own blood supply and forms its own uh, so it can get the energy from the mother's blood, okay? okay. <clears throat> the placenta, okay? The formation of the placenta. So that's the reason we get unequal uh, division in uh, full genesis, okay? So um, as I mentioned, polar body can be produced in meiosis one, <coughs> and meiosis 2, okay? Sometimes that uh, first polar body may or may not Need undergo uh, meiosis uh, 2, okay? So in, in, the, 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 in the end, we get 2 to 3 non-functioning, okay? Polar bodies, so they degenerate, they, they're destroyed, okay? They're non-viable. Degenerate means they will not be useful. So as, uh, as the polar bodies are acting to remove excess chromosomes during meiosis one and meiosis two. And once they do that, they're destroyed. They disintegrate, okay? Doctor, so don't be determined. So meiosis is to end duplicated chromosome. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> and for meiosis one, uh, yeah, meiosis one, two end unduplicated. So, and two endocytes from them. Yeah, uh, undergo meiosis one, okay? Which is one, yeah. They form, uh, so if you're talking about the uh, oogenesis, the secondary oocyte, okay? Yeah. Which is N with duplicated chromosome, okay? okay? And then this undergoes um, meiosis two and forms the mature ovum okay. and the second polar body, okay? Which okay. have unduplicated haploid number of chromosomes, okay? Well, 
we don't have um, time to run the Kahoot, but I will start the next lecture anyway. Okay. If you start, I'll. Four minutes. Yeah, just four minutes. Four minutes. You know, uh, we'll just do the first slide and I'll come back to it again in four minutes. Okay. You want to go over, yeah? All right, so uh, chapter or lesson six deals with uh, DNA replication. Remember, where is DNA replication happening? Yeah, S phase, okay? So we make a copy of it. So there's, uh, there's a process involved in reproducing that, egg, uh, that uh, DNA. Before we move on to that, there's a couple of terms we need to uh, define. So when we're talking about a gene, a gene is the smallest functional unit we find in a DNA. So for example, you know, insulin, it regulates glucose levels that's produced in the pancreas, okay? It has a particular gene in your DNA. So one functional unit that produces the protein insulin. So it's, it, you know, we have uh, 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs. So genes are sp in specific locations on the chromosomes, okay? So uh, they are they're short segments, okay? That code that can code for one or more proteins. Now in humans, uh, most of the genes code for only one protein. Sometimes you can get a gene that codes for two proteins. That is once it's made the protein, it's broken up to, into two functional. But m more likely, it's one. But in bacteria, you can get sometimes two you know, or three uh, proteins. If you look at our uh, genome, so the genome collective DNA, we call it genome, we find about 20,000 20, different genes on the 46 chromosomes. So 20,000 different genes that can code for proteins, different RNAs, okay? So remember we have, uh, have you heard of messenger RNA? Yes. Yes. So messenger RNA is the one that makes protein. So a lot of these will be messenger RNAs. There will be some that form uh, ribosomal RNA, remember? Yes. Yeah, so ribosomal RNA. There will be some that produce the uh, tRNA, okay? Yeah. Transfer, Transfer RNA. RNA. And some that produce what we call microRNAs that are recently discovered. But, well, not recent, but they're discovered. It's not, we, we're not teaching them in your course, but there is other type of RNAs as well that are part of these 20,000 genes. And these are all on the 46 chromosome. So when we're talking about gene expression, we're talking about the production of the, uh, you know, protein or RNA from the DNA, okay? So, uh, the process for producing the RNA is known as transcription. So when we transcribe DNA to RNA, this process is known as transcription. DNA to RNA. Yes. After that we translate. Then we make protein out of it. This process is known as translation, okay? Because the RNA code is then translated into amino acids, okay? Mm -hmm. So we got nucleotide translated yeah. into amino yeah. acids. And there is, um, a special code that is used to do that, we call the codon table. So every three of the DNA sequences or RNA sequences code for one amino acid. Mm -hmm. And combination of that, yeah. we can make up to 20 different amino acids, okay? That can code. And you, ha you can have many different combinations coding for yeah. one amino acid, so. We have a look at here. This is what this is the code on table. You see here, uh, this particular protein serine. It can be coded by up to six different combinations. Okay, of the uh, RNA sequence. Remember, in RNA we use uracil. You remember yeah. that? Yeah. So this is this is showing the RNA uh, messenger yeah, RNA. Uh, okay. So from RNA to protein. So. If you have a look at serine, we have different six different combination of sequences that can give this pro, uh, this amino acid serine, okay? okay. And the, the 20 different amino acids are coded by different, we call these 
triplicate codons, okay? Because they, they always happen three, in three. So the translation, when it's happening in the ribosomes, okay? Translation is happening in the ribosomes, okay? Mm -hmm. The ribosome reads each three of these and then translate it into these 20 amino acids. So if, if it sees this code, this code, this code, this code, it will always put a series, okay? All mm -hmm. these six. Okay. And Dr. there are just the three stop codes? So the stop codon is actually telling the ribosome this is the end of the protein stop translation. And we have one star methionine, okay? AUG. It tells it this is the start of the translation, okay? Yeah. All right, I think we'll leave it there. We are out of time. So, yeah. Yeah, this is we'll talk about the uh, uh, DNA replication, transcription, yeah. translation tomorrow, inshallah. Okay? Okay.